you can see that I've put brown on grandma's hair already. And that is simply because um, this glaze is a little translucent, which means see-through. Uh, so by putting the brown on underneath, it causes the rust to have a richer tone. You can see this is going on. It's very similar to the color that grandpa's uh, uniform will be, but this color will fire a rusty brownish red. Grandpa had actually blondish hair with kind of a brown undertone. So I also painted grandpa's hair in with the brown and I'm adding the this glaze called butterscotch. This one goes on very similar to the color of grandma's dress, but it'll actually fire a beautiful blue. Um, all of these glazes I've been painting on, they fire that traditional shiny, glossy, rich, multifaceted kind of glazes that we associate with pottery. Um, their faces, however, would fire completely flat. There would be no shine to those um, simply because of the product used. Um, so in order to rectify that situation, because it just wouldn't do to have matte peat parts and shiny parts, I'm going to spray a clear glaze over top of them. <clears throat> All right, you ready? There we go. 